The Spirit of the Lord God is upon me, because the Lord hath anointed me to preach good tidings unto the meek. He hath sent me to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives, and the opening of the prison to them that are bound. It is time for Israelites to stop collaborating with their enemies and join forces with the Most High to get the result they desire. Too many Israelites refuse to submit to the Most High. Your disobedience is keeping you in bondage. Only the Most High can lead us to freedom. For multiple generations, Israelites looked to the kingdom of darkness and their oppressors for deliverance. Some Israelites do not consider seeking the Most High for help. Our ancestors reject the Most High, and this generation is repeating the same mistake. Nevertheless, the people refused to obey the voice of Samuel, and they said, Nay, but we will have a king over us, that we also may be like all the nations, and that our king may judge us, and go out before us, and fight our battles. And the Lord said unto Samuel, Hearken unto the voice of the people, and all that they say unto thee. For they have not rejected thee, but they have rejected me, that I should not reign over them. How many marches and protests will you conduct before you realize it is ineffective? The Israelites who are lost in the beast system get offended when we inform them repentance and seeking the Most High will stop the oppression. The beast system detests anything that has to do with the Most High. The scriptures clearly state, if you are a friend to the beast system, you are an enemy to the Most High. Ye adulterers and adulteresses, know ye not that the friendship of the world is enmity with God? Whosoever therefore will be a friend of the world is the enemy of God. Too many Israelites have taken on the same satanic mentality. A lot of Israelites despise following the commands of the Elohim of Israel. By doing this, you become an enemy to the Most High. Israelites are pledging allegiance to the kingdom of darkness. You will never win by teaming up with the same powers that are keeping you in bondage. Can Satan cast out Satan? And if Satan cast out Satan, he is divided against himself. How shall then his kingdom stand? If the kingdom of darkness is divided against itself, the kingdom of darkness cannot stand. If Satan and his angels were in the same position as the black community, Satan's reign would end. Satan, his angels, and the workers of iniquity are united. That is how they are able to oppress the indigenous people. If the kingdom of darkness and the workers of iniquity turn against themselves, the kingdom of darkness would lose its power. The workers of iniquity want to rule for as long as they can. And Jesus knew their thoughts and said unto them, Every kingdom divided against itself is brought to desolation, and every city or house divided against itself shall not stand. The black community is divided and has been. That is how the kingdom of darkness is able to control the black community for multiple generations. Many Israelites are stiff-necked and they will submit to their oppressors. However, some Israelites will make excuses to why they cannot follow the commands of the Most High. Israelites will use the scriptures to justify their sins. If Israelites could submit to the Most High like they do for the heathens, the times of the heathens would end. And they shall fall by the edge of the sword, and shall be led away captive into all nations. And Jerusalem shall be trodden down of the Gentiles until the times of the Gentiles be fulfilled. From my observation of our community, many Israelites do not want to separate from the beast system. Many Israelites covet the power the heathens have. Most Israelites want to share in the power the workers of iniquity have by working with the kingdom of darkness. Israelites are fighting for equality and to be accepted by the beast system. Many indigenous people and Israelites are not fighting for freedom nor to regain the throne. They are fighting to be just like the people that oppress them. If Israelites could indulge in their sins without consequences like the heathens, they would continue to live in sin without a word. The Most High would not allow his people that is made in his image to go unpunished. That is why many Israelites are suffering. 
Many of you do not comprehend the most high when he said, if you belong to this world, the world would love its own because you're not of this world, but have been chosen out of this world. The world hates you. If ye were of the world, the world would love his own. But because ye are not of the world, but I have chosen you out of the world, therefore the world hateth you. When Israelites began to comprehend the hate, it would change their perspective on life. Many Israelites interpret the hate the scriptures speak of for racism, colorism, discrimination, and etc. That is false, Israelites. Racism and the many other ism is nothing but a distraction from the truth. The scriptures clearly state it is because you were chosen from the world. That is why the world hates you. If ye were of the world, the world would love his own. But because ye are not of the world, but I have chosen you out of the world, therefore the world hateth you. The heathens know that you are a peculiar people. They know you were made in the Most High's image. The heathens are aware that you are the apple of the Most High's eyes. The heathens know that you are a special people to the Most High. This is why they take great measures to conceal your identity and erase your history. The hate they want you to have for yourself is how they truly feel about themselves. The heathens did not steal your history and everything great about you because they love themselves. It is jealousy. In addition, your history and legacy is 50 million times better than theirs could ever be. The kingdom of darkness and the workers of iniquity invest in making sure that you hate yourself. By keeping you in low energy, they can control you better. The hate is not due to racism and other ism. The hate is because you are the people of the most high. The spirit of jealousy has overtaken them. They made a deal with the kingdom of darkness to keep you down, to reign over you. They are aware of their end. You can protest and march until your legs fall off. The world will never accept you nor love you. You can join forces with the heathens. The serpent seed will continue to make empty promises. The cycle of oppression and defeat will continue. It is time that you wise up, Israelites. You must allow the Most High to renew your minds. And be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, that ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. The heathens do not interfere with channels like this because they want you to find freedom. They silence voices like mine to keep you in bondage. If you can comprehend and allow the words of the Most High to penetrate your heart, the change that you seek you would find. Why would anyone who is for freedom and wants to live peacefully with everyone interfere with voices intended to help the people overcome oppression? Why would the workers of iniquity promote the beast system that keeps you in bondage? It is because they prosper greatly from your oppression that they see to it that you remain in bondage. The workers of iniquity do not want you to get wisdom and understanding. The scripture said to get wisdom and to all thy getting get understanding. Wisdom is the principal thing, therefore get wisdom, and with all thy getting, get understanding. Through knowledge would the just be delivered. Israelites, your lack of knowledge is killing you. Stop focusing on racism and discrimination. Fight the real enemy. Satanic corporations such as Google, who owns YouTube, other major corporations invest in making sure the indigenous people do not unite. The workers of iniquity make it their mission that you do not rise as a people. The scripture said the world hates you. The people who benefit from the beast system make their hatred known. The Most High inform you of the perpetual hatred. Why do you keep fighting for equality? Fight for freedom. When the kingdom of darkness gained control of the physical realm, the serpent seed did not protest and conduct marches to gain control over this world. The serpent seed invaded nation using their barbaric skills, killing the indigenous people take their land, colonized the land they have stolen and made slaves of the indigenous people. The serpent seed did not ask the indigenous people to treat them equally. The serpent seed did not ask the indigenous people to join their cause. The serpent seed used the original man to conspire against himself to overthrow his kingdom. The kingdom of darkness had a plan. The workers of iniquity execute the plans by submitting to the commands of their idol god, Satan. 
The workers of iniquity fight side by side with the kingdom of darkness to overthrow the original man. The workers of iniquity submit to their God to reap the desires of their heart. Your failure to submit to your God, the Elohim of Israel, keeps you in the slave position and in bondage. The rebellion against the Elohim of Israel has been happening from the beginning, transferring from one generation to the next. This generation has enough wisdom to break the generational curse. The question is, do you want to break the curse? Israelites, you automatically lose the battle when you do not consult with the Most High, in addition, taking matters into your own hands. Our ancestors who submitted to the Most High and do the will of the Most High always inquire of the Most High before they proceed to fight against their enemy for freedom. And they said unto him, Ask counsel, we pray thee, of God, that we may know whether our way which we go shall be prosperous. And the priest said unto them, Go in peace. Before the Lord is your way wherein ye go. Israelites, you gain freedom after winning the battle. Equality comes with an agreement. If the heathens decide this month that they will stop discriminating and treat you with respect, the goal to obtain equality is achieved. All the oppressor have to do is make false promises just as they have been doing. Many Israelites will mistake their empty promises for victory. Celebrating your false history on the shortest month of the year is not a victory. Setting a day aside to remember how they persecute you is not a victory. Marching with your enemies and the beast system remains in power, it is not a victory. The scripture said, make no covenants with them. Thou shalt make no covenant with them, nor with their gods. Our failure to adhere to the Most High has us going in circles for multiple generations. How many peace treaties has the workers of iniquity broken? How many times have we made covenants with our enemies and it backfired? Fighting for equality is not the answer. Fighting for equality is a temporary solution. Equality does not address the problems at its root. It only takes the heathens to appoint a wicked leader for the fight for equality to start all over again. When Joseph reigned over Egypt, our ancestors live in peace. After Joseph's death, another king arrives who did not know the history. Our ancestors failed to transfer wisdom to the next generation. As a result, a wicked leader was appointed and put them in bondage again. And Joseph died, and all his brethren, and all that generation. And the children of Israel were fruitful, and increased abundantly, and multiplied, and waxed exceeding mighty, and the land was filled with them. Now... There arose up a new king over Egypt, which knew not Joseph. And he said unto his people, Behold, the people of the children of Israel are more and mightier than we. Come on, let us deal wisely with them, lest they multiply. And it come to pass, that when there falleth out any war, they join also unto our enemies, and fight against us, and so get them up out of the land. Therefore they did set over them taskmasters, to afflict them with their burdens, and they built for Pharaoh treasure cities, Pithom and Ramses. The road to freedom is not easy. Freedom does not come without bloodshed. You are declaring war against the kingdom of darkness and the workers of iniquity when you seek freedom. In order for you to gain freedom, you have to submit to the Most High. Just as the workers of iniquity submit to Satan to gain power, you cannot gain freedom independently from the Most High. Too many Israelites are fighting without the Most High. That is why you're being destroyed. The scripture said the battle belongs to the Most High. And he said, Hearken ye, O Judah, and ye inhabitants of Jerusalem, and thou king Jehoshaphat. Thus saith the Lord unto you, Be not afraid nor dismayed by reason of this great multitude, for the battle is not yours, but God's. The Most High reserve harsh judgment for the wicked. That is why the battle belongs to the Most High. The scriptures inform us that the wrath of men do not produce the kind of righteousness the Most High desire. Your wrath and judgments towards the heathens would push you further into bondage. Wherefore, my beloved brethren, let every man be swift to hear, slow to speak, slow to wrath. For the wrath of man worketh not the righteousness of God. 
Yah can afflict the wicked with pain you and I could never match. Allow the Most High to execute his judgments. The Most High is aware of your oppression. The Most High said in a popular scripture, Israelites in the awakening love to quote and teach, I know thy works, poverty and tribulations. I know thy works and tribulation and poverty. But thou art rich. If the people of the Most High would listen with an ear to hear, they would hear the many promises the Most High made to his people. You do not have to live in bondage. The Most High see and know of your oppression. In order for the Most High to fight for his people, his people has to include him. In addition, follow his instructions. Submitting to the Most High will guarantee your freedom. For multiple generations, you have joined forces with your enemy to overthrow your enemies. It is time you do something different. Joining forces with the workers of iniquity to fight side by side will only keep you in bondage. You do not need the heathens. The heathens need you. Israelites, if you separate from the heathens, the heathens will follow you everywhere you go. Remember, we did not seek help from the heathens, nor did we explore the world looking for them. The serpent seed traveled the world like the tourists they are and found indigenous people all over the world to torment. The heathens pretend not to need you. Their survival depends on you. It is time that you love yourself. Stop accepting the lies your enemies told. If you want freedom, repentance is the cure to your oppression. Do not dismiss help from the Most High because of unbelief. No man could save you, only the Most High. Every single leader you appoint over yourself promised change. None was able to deliver you. Many Israelites who refuse to seek the Most High are confusing Satan's religion system with our heritage. The Israelites who are lost in the beast system automatically assume you are referring to religion when you mention the Most High. It was through religion most Israelites were introduced to the scriptures. The scriptures and religion have nothing in common, just like being spiritual and religious. Religion is a part of the beast system. The kingdom of darkness used religion to oppress Israelites and to control the heathens. The Most High never command his people to join any form of religion. Therefore, religion is ineffective for black people. You will never find freedom as long as you are attached to religion. You cannot serve the same God the kingdom of darkness is using to control you. You should not be serving the same God as your enemies. The scripture said Israelites would serve idols in the land of their captivity. In addition, the God you are serving in the land of your captivity, your ancestors have not known. And the Lord shall scatter thee among all people, from the one end of the earth even unto the other. And there thou shalt serve other gods, which neither thou nor thy fathers have known, even wood and stone. The idol the beast system erected for the world to worship is not the Elohim of Israel. That is why religion is ineffective for the black community. You will never find freedom as long as you are trapped in religion. The Elohim of our fathers, the world do not know him. The Most High is the Elohim of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. He is not the God of the world. The beast system rejected the Elohim of Israel. Satan is the God of this world. Satan's image is whom many worship in religion. Moreover, he said, I am the God of thy father, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. And Moses hid his face, for he was afraid to look upon God. The kingdom of darkness transform our heritage into religion. The best way to control spiritual people is to manipulate their belief. The kingdom of darkness did this by adding and taking away from the scriptures. For I testify unto every man that heareth the words of the prophecy of this book, if any man shall add unto these things, God shall add unto him the plagues that are written in this book. And if any man shall take away from the words of the book of this prophecy, God shall take away his part out of the book of life and out of the holy city and from the things which are written in this book. The purpose of our ancestors writing our history in scrolls was to educate the generations to come, also to keep our customs alive throughout the generations. 
Satan imitate our heritage to start religion. That is why every religion have similar practices to our traditional customs. The synagogue of Satan altered our scrolls to their liking. Distribute the altered manuscripts to the world, especially the church. The synagogue of Satan changed history to support their false ideology. The only way you'll be able to understand the Bible, you need the Holy Spirit. The scripture said the Holy Spirit would reveal truth to you and tell you the things to come. You cannot decode the altered scriptures without the Most High. Albeit when he, the spirit of truth, is come, he will guide you into all truth. For he shall not speak of himself, but whatsoever he shall hear, that shall he speak, and he will show you things to come. Satan imitate everything the Most High does. Religion will never help black people. The Most High is our government, army, and leader. The Most High never said for his people to seek religious organizations for protection. Religion is idolatry. The Most High hate the sin of idolatry. That is why the first commandment said, there should be no other gods before me. I am the Lord thy God, which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. Thou shalt have no other gods before me. Protesting and marching is just as ineffective as religion. It is time that you humble yourself. Give the Most High the opportunity to show you his glory. The hate the heathens have for you is permanent. Stop focusing on racism and discrimination. The scripture said if the world hates you, it hated the Most High first. You are made in the image of the Most High. Therefore, the kingdom of darkness will persecute you. If the world hate you, ye know that it hated me before it hated you. The world did not accept the Most High, just as the world do not accept you. The heathens are marching and protesting to save themselves, in addition to manipulate you. When Kaepernick took a knee, he was disrespecting the flag. Now everyone is taking a knee. What changed? Look how fast the world forgot. Do not fall for it, Israelites. They are marching and protesting to remain your savior. They do not want you to look to the Most High. They want you to look to them as God and Savior. You do not need them. You need the Most High. It is time that you cut off your dependency on the heathens. The heathens did not fashion you in your mother's womb. The heathens did not create the world you live in. Where was thou when I laid the foundations of the earth? Declare if thou hast understanding. The heathens are not gods. The heathens do not resemble the Most High, nor do they represent the kingdom of righteousness. The Most High is using the awakening to equip his people with the wisdom and understanding that they need to serve their Elohim and to find freedom. The mind control from the past should not have a strong hold on the people the Most High has set free. And I will walk at liberty, for I seek thy precepts. I will speak of thy testimonies also before kings, and will not be ashamed, and I will delight myself in thy commandments, which I have loved. In the last days, knowledge would increase. Take advantage of the abundant wisdom. Israelites, you have the power to break the generational curses. It is time that you stop fighting for equality and start fighting for freedom. Stand fast, therefore, in the liberty wherewith Christ hath made us free, and be not entangled again with the yoke of bondage.